So, uh, I'm honored to be here to present this next gong by way of a poem. Just think, fuck, it's no song. Woman of the Year, wow, such, such a title to wear. But the recipient is, without doubt, the most fair. Fair and deserving, hardworking and kind. The busiest bee, the Game of Thrones' greatest find. She's not only ridiculously talented, the best of the batch, she's got a really good smile with characteristics to match. Yeah. She's had breakfast at Tiffany's, filmed opposite Jude Law, killed machines beside Arnie, and still has more in store. She's been nominated for an Emmy, not just once, no, but twice to be successful so quickly and to still be so nice. I mean, I'm not jealous. No, I promise, no. Uh, I, I'm really quite proud. So it's time she stood up in front of this crowd. She's the mother of dragons, but has the strength of a Stark. GQ's Woman of the Year is Amelia Clark. My goodness. Um, thank you so much, GQ, for, um, for giving me this gorgeous award. And um, yeah, I just want to say it's a real, it's a real um, privilege to be recognized in amongst all these gorgeous, wonderful, talented, handsome, yeah, real handsome men. So I'm going to turn my Tinder on. It'll be Dragon Baby Mama if any of you are kind of looking for that. Um, but um, in all seriousness, I'm, I'm very lucky because I get to play strong women on screen. And um, I just would like us to, to turn our minds towards the, the, real streaming, the real women of strength today who are struggling to find a place they call home. So I would like to applaud them and to everyone who's helping them tonight. Thank you very much for the award, GQ. Thank you.